Gallop, you're making a ruckus. You just want attention. You just want attention. Gallop's like, can it be my video now? Hello. Welcome to my luxury LA apartment tour. I live in a two bedroom luxury apartment here in Los Angeles and you guys have been begging, begging, begging for this apartment tour. I moved into this apartment in December. I will link my previous two LA apartment tours down in the description box. I've been living here for two and a half years. This is my third apartment and I'm obsessed, I'm in love, it's amazing. And it's taken me a really long time to get it decorated and settled how I want it to to be able to show you guys. You also have had a lot of questions about what it means to be a full service luxury apartment. So I will dive into what that means and what this building offers me as a resident. But first I wanna get into the apartment. Also, I will say I decorated this entire space on my own. I know a lot of people really wanted me to work with Mr. Kate and we did think about it. She killed it last time in my bedroom in my last apartment, but I really just wanted to do this on my own. Like it was kind of like a creative challenge for myself to do my own self-expression and creativity in this space. Space. So everything in this apartment I decorated and picked on my own with a little bit of input from my mom and that's pretty much it. So what you're seeing is like my blind home decor come to life. Okay, so we're gonna start with the least exciting thing. When you walk in the front door, directly to the right is the laundry room, which is truly a luxury in LA apartment living because they don't Many don't offer like in-unit laundry, but this does. So we have the stacked washer and dryer. We have kind of just you know, all the bits and bobs. This is a garbage can that comes with the unit, which speaks to the first full service thing that they offer here every single night between 6 to 8 p.m. We can put this garbage can outside of our door and they come and take away our garbage. So that's just like a really nice touch. Totally not necessary, but it is something that they offer and pretty much everybody in the building takes advantage of, of course, why wouldn't you? So they do, for that reason, have the garbage cans come with the building, uh, with the units. Then we have a laundry basket and then just like gallops. Kibble is kept in here. Lavenders, cat food is kept in here. Cleaning supplies, all that kind of stuff. Boom. Right across from there, I'm gonna show you guys, is like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with this mirror. It is gorgeous. I saw it at the store that I've actually gotten quite a few of my pieces from. It's, I believe, a German store. They have a location in Los Angeles, Toronto, and New York, and their stuff is so cool and quirky and unique and special. And this is just a piece I fell in love with. Oh, it's just so sparkly. It was really heavy, so we had to get a handyman in to anchor it to the wall, which leads me to another service that they offer at this building. There is like an app with a personal butler service. So it just has like oodles and oodles and oodles of, th of things that you can book them to do for you. They do help hang TVs, anchor things to walls, hang pictures, help you move in when you first move. But if you want to continue to get services like that, then you just use it through the app and you pay for it, but it's really convenient. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this mirror. I'm gonna link the store that I got this from down below. I just love and I also like that it's silver because it ties in the silver in my kitchen that you'll see because most of my decor is gold. So it kind of helps balance the silver and gold. We were gonna get a plexiglass kind of console table here to just throw keys on, that kind of thing. But the plexiglass due to the state of the world has been really hard to get a hold of from overseas. So the only option was glass and I'm too blind for that. So that's just a clear space. I mean, it leaves it nice and open anyways. So next to the laundry room, we just have a coat closet. So I just have coats, shocking. I have all of my cat's toys, which there is so many of, as well as her meow box that we just got in that I have to open for her. It's her second delivery of meow box. And then up here we keep Gallup's work equipment, some of his toys and stuff like that, as well as some of Lavender's stuff. Then we go to here. This was just like a really big space that felt very empty. And I found this faux fur white bench with these fun gold legs. It was just very my aesthetic. So it's just a nice space for people to sit and take their shoes off when they come. It gives us a little bit more seating if we have a large party, which obviously right now we're not. <laughs> but when the time comes, it just adds extra seating options here. Underneath, we have my cat Lavender's bowls. We keep them under there because if we keep them not 
under there. My guide dog Gallop eats her food, but if we push it under the bench, she can get to eat it, but he cannot. Win-win. We are getting her a cat condo, but it hasn't come in yet. Once we have that, we'll be able to put them on the top of the condo, but right now that's where they're kept. And then Gallop's food is right beside it here. I am obsessed with this place setting for him. The water says still or sparkling, and the food bowl says special of the day. Is that what Today's it's like? special. Today's special. And then the mat says bon appetit. I got this from a boutique that a subscriber's dad owns, so I'll link them down below. They have a lot of quirky fun stuff that I've picked up over the over some time now. Kind of gallops just come <laughs> the in. gallops come over to like check it out. He's like, oh, did you put food in it? Then up here, I got this at the same store that I got the mirror at. Her name is Miss Coco. French Bulldogs are one of my absolute favorite dog breeds. French Bulldogs and Bernese Mountain Dogs are my two favorite breeds. Gallop, you're making a ruckus. You just want attention. You just want attention. I was like, can it be my video now? So I found it in their Toronto location and I was absolutely obsessed with it, but I was like, I can't tote it back, it's glass. So I was like, I can't tote this back to LA with me. And I just moved into my new apartment. I was home for Christmas. So I was like, I don't even know what I'm doing with decor yet because I moved in two weeks ago. So I'll just pause. But then I like happened to just run into the store casually here in LA. Didn't even realize it was the same store until they mentioned they had the Toronto location on the very spot that I went to it. And I was like, wait, do you have this painting or this, this art? work and they're like yeah we do so I picked it up they sold out of it immediately they got three in I got the last one and I just love it it has the French Bulldog with a little bow sitting on a bunch of designer books in this pastel pink white black motif it's just so molly and it goes right above Gallop's eating area it's his friend Miss Coco all right I'll walk you over here now into the kitchen we brought the Samsung smart fridge with us so they did have a fridge here but we flipped it out for this one because it's just the greatest fridge ever. I'll link my what's in my smart fridge video below in case you're interested in that. And then over here, you know, you get basic kitchen stuff. We've got some pens that my mom writes with and I don't. We've got our gold holder for the paper towel, which is from Target here. Is this Gallup? Yes. This is from Anthropology. Most of my kitchenware is. I'm just obsessed with anthro, anthro. I've been collecting from them for a long time. And they have all these pieces that look like it's Gallup. I swear they stole his identity. So we just kind of have that hanging there as decoration. We've got the, the oven, the microwave, the basic kitchen stuff. And then over here we have like my pride and joy of the kitchen, my Smeg appliances. I have wanted Smeg appliances for probably six years but they're really, really, really stupidly expensive. But for my birthday, my 26th birthday, my stylist Dana had gifted me these beautiful bracelets, but I was like, these are too expensive. Like I will lose these. You know, my Cartier bracelets, they never come off, but the other ones were fabric. So I was like, I will lose these. And she's like, you can exchange it if you want. And I went on Neiman Marcus to see what I would exchange it for. And the Smeg appliances were on sale. And I, it was basically almost an exact price match. So I was like, so that's what I did. I ended up switching it out. I got the blender and the cream. Obviously, like I really wanted the pastel pink, but I was trying to be an adult. So I got the cream, but I got the blender, the four, four toast toaster, and I just have a bowl of fruit. Here we have a cutting board that my brother got me. It's an elephant, which is my favorite animal, and it is from Anthropology. You know, we've got nice, beautiful flowers just for the sake of this video. Although we do actually get fresh flowers a lot. Um, we've got a nice candle burning. We burn candles here all the time. And then we've got my kettle, also matches the Smeg set, and some David's Tea with the Gallup mug and a perfect teaspoon from David's Tea, which perfectly spoons out the right amount of tea. So yes, this gets utilized Daily, daily, daily. And then here in the middle, we have this table. I'm obsessed with the marble table from my last apartment, but it didn't fit here. It was just gonna be too big. So we have it in storage. Another thing that's great that this building offers is storage lockers. So we have a huge storage locker, just a few, probably 20 feet away from my apartment. I have my own storage locker filled with stuff like my ski equipment, my hiking and camping equipment, extra beauty supplies, like just stuff that there's no reason for it to be in this apartment, my suitcases, so I can easily grab it 20 feet away, but it doesn't have to fill my space here, which is definitely a luxury. I've never found another building that offers it. But here, we just got this cheaper table. It was literally 120 bucks. I want to say I got it at Overstock. It's just a white, you know, it's nothing fancy, but this is where the silver comes in. So it has like the silver base. They did have a gold option, but because these chairs have silver legs, I wanted to keep it silver and silver. So I like that the mirror kind of pulls the silver in as well as all the silver appliances. So these 
chairs were from Wayfair. I have the other two because my last table sat six. So I just put the other two in storage with the table. So that way, hopefully once I buy my own place, I'll have space for it all. But yeah, these, I you'll notice I love clear acrylic furniture. I really love going for like, I'd say mid-century modern is my vibe. I really like industrial vibes. I really love the modern spin, but I really like keeping it warm and cozy with texture, faux furs, velvets. Of course, I love glitter and sparkles because if you know me, you know that I have light perception, so I'm able to see the glitter bounce with the light. So you'll see a lot of that throughout this space. And then we just decorated it nice and pretty with a bunch of anthropology play settings. Everybody's obsessed with my cutlery set. I got it years ago when I first moved to LA. It is oil slicked and it's from Urban Outfitters, but they don't sell it anymore. I would totally buy a second set. It's like 60 bucks and I'm so in love with it. Yeah, so that's pretty much this place setting. And then this is the master bedroom, which is where I sleep, but we'll get to that in a little bit. I'll take you through the living room first. Here we have a beauty cart, which is kind of a spin on a bar cart. That was a collaboration between Benefit Cosmetics and Pottery Barn Teen. It's a copper color, it does roll. Um, we just have it sitting here with this Target plant, it's fake. And then underneath, we have this fun little pink kind of copper rose gold vibe globe. I travel a lot. My brother got this for me from Anthropology many years ago for Christmas and I love it. And I just think this display is super cute. Here we have this long, tall standing lamp. It has these gold bars, just a big wide, I don't know, what is this called? Light shade. Lamp shade. And then the base is a white marble. Yeah, it's really simple and I got this at, I'm really trying to remember all these places for you guys. I got this at West Elm. This is from West Elm. Then here we have the sitting area, the couch. This couch you would have seen in my last place. It is from Joybird. They did gift this to me. Oh, hey gal. Thanks for getting out of the way. They gifted me this couch. I love it. I was in the market for a gray velvet tufted couch. So it was pretty much exactly what I was looking for. And then I have this faux fur pink pillow. And this is from the same store as the mirror and the Miss Coco. Above it, I'm obsessed with this. I love this so much. It says XOXO in these big gold letters. They're metal and I got them at Pottery Barn Teen. They came as just a set of two, so I bought two of them and put them over the couch. And I just think it's simple, it's feminine, it bounces the light with the gold. I just adore it. I hope you guys like it. I couldn't find a piece of artwork that I liked for over the couch and I just feel like this totally completes the room for me personally. And then at the end, I have this staying home is the new going out pillow, which is just truly never been more relevant. And I got this pillow years and years and years ago when I was probably 20 years old. I'm 26 now, maybe even 19. It's from Indigo, which is a bookstore in Canada. And it was from my brother for Christmas. And then we have this Target pillow, which Mr. K got for my last bedroom makeover, sitting there behind it. In front of me here, we have the coffee table from Joybird. All the Joybird pieces, were gifted to me. A lot of the stuff that we have on here, except the flowers, <laughs> is either from Anthropology or Target. So it's kind of a bit of a mix. Except um, for Gallup. Gallup's in front of the coffee Gallup table. Gallup was not from Anthropology <laughs> or Target. The rest of the pieces on this table were. Then over here, we have this Target lamp, which I love so much. The marble base, the gold arm, the light pink shade. Like it's just so stinking cute to me. I love the vibe. And then this table is just from Ikea, nothing special. Yeah, that's that. And then in the corner here, we have Lavender's mark on the apartment. This is her litter robot, kitty litter box. It's self-cleaning, it's super high-tech and fancy, it's crazy, she loves it, it's so cute when she gets inside. Yeah, She'll sometimes I swear she just goes and hangs out in there for fun. She does, she loves it. She loves it. <laughs> and then we have a fake plant, because I kill real ones. Not on purpose, of course. I'm not a plant killer, it just happens. And Maybe this, because you traveled so much in the past. Especially because I traveled in the past a lot. This is from Nearly Naturals. And then here, we have what we call the Rory chair. It's so fluffy. I honestly can't tell you where this is from. It is a matte black base with this very, very, very fluffy gray fluff. And then this is a sparkly silver and cream pillow, which is from that same German store. Rapport. 
Rapport. Rapport International. Rapport International Furniture is where this is from. And I love this chair. I got a great deal on it. It was originally $1,300 and I got it for liquidation at a liquidation sale for $300. And it just matched my vibe perfectly so I couldn't say no to it. It's super comfortable. Everyone loves sitting in this one. And then beside it here, I just have this Target table, gold table. So if somebody is sitting here and has a drink or something, they have a nice spot, they can plop it down. And then this super funky, fun candle that my manager got for me as a gift. So I really can't say where it's from, but it's super aesthetic. And there is a balcony. I live in a corner unit. So the balcony stretches all the way across the living room and the master bedroom. So I'm gonna take you there once I go to the master bedroom, but there is a door to get out to the patio right here behind my mom filming. Now I'm taking you to this section. The door for the patio is right there. We have another Nearly Naturals plant. Do we have anything else in this corner? Just the Nearly Naturals plant? Yep. Okay, great. Right. Yeah. Then we have this Target lamp. It's like a porcupine. I've literally had it since I moved to LA. We have another anthropology candle. This console table, by the way, is again, just a super cheap piece from Wayfair. I order a lot at Wayfair. This is a custom made piece of art. I'm gonna link the artist down below. She made it super tactile for me so this is the color changing sequins gallop she she painted all of this based off a, a picture of gallop it's just so beautiful she's so talented i'll link her instagram below we need one of uh, lavender now yeah wouldn't that be lovely we need a lavender one for my bedroom Yes. And then I have a Facebook portal. You might have never seen these before. My brother and his girlfriend both work for Facebook. So they got us one of these. It's really fun. The whole family has one. So we each kind of, especially because my brother and his girlfriend live in London, England. My dad lives in Toronto. My mom and I live here in LA. So we all kind of do group calls on this every single week. We can just sit on our couch and it, the camera like zooms in on us and we can talk. It's great. And then underneath we just kind of have, you know, some miscellaneous things, books, our routers for our internet, a little box with some storage stuff. We have some like things in here like passports. I did switch this handle out. It was kind of like a boring white handle. So I switched it out for one I had from Anthropology. And then we just have a nice live plant here that was actually sent to me as PR from a skincare brand, which was super sweet. And my HomePod. I love my HomePod. Then next to it, we have this little stool, which is from Rapport International Furniture, like Miss Coco and the mirror and all that jazz. And I love this stool. Their stuff is really honestly they have some really expensive pieces but they also for the most part have really well priced pieces i saw a version of this that was like 20 dollars cheaper at target but way 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 lower quality so love this again just an extra piece of like sitting space when we have guests and then perched on here is another fixture you've seen in all of my apartment tours and that is penelope the flamingo so she just sits here on her perch and lavender my kitten is obsessed she loves playing with penelope she loves sitting up here with her taking a nap on the stool it's super cute the carpet that we have down here is from joybird this nice bucket chair is from joybird and then this blanket is from rapport international furniture and Lavender loves that chair. She yes. uses it like a racetrack. She runs around the base because the metal base is like a half circle. She just runs and runs and runs <laughs> and then she likes to sit underneath it and watch us. Mimi Gallop. Yes. <laughs> then in this area, we just have the full length mirror from Ikea for the sighted folk. I don't use it, but you know, good to have. And then that is the guest bathroom. And this is my mom's bedroom or the second bedroom, the guest bedroom. So let's go in here first. It does have floor to ceiling, wall to wall windows on the one side, which is super nice. I can't show it to you because then you'll see where I live. But that whole wall opposite where you walk in is just all window, which is really, really nice. Here is the closet, which my mom said I'm allowed to open. So that is her exciting. The second closet, super, super exciting stuff. And then over here, we have these little cute bedside tables. I love them. It's this matte gold big circle and these cute little gold legs with this white, really, really nice quality. These are from West Elm. And then these acrylic and Gold lamps are from Target. Target. I love these, really great price. I think they're like 40 bucks or less. Really nice quality. We've got this candle going here and my mom has a nice little succulent. And then the bed is from Ikea. It's just like, it's nothing special. It's just, you know, like these 
these tall legs. We want to switch them out for low legs. They do at Ikea have a low leg option and we want to switch that out so that the, the bed is lowered to be more on the level of the bedside tables. So that is one project that we haven't quite gotten to yet. Down here we have the matching dresser drawers which adds nice extra storage because as you saw that closet isn't huge so this is really nice to have and it also just helps fill the space a bit more. We have this lamp from Target, some coffee table books, so we have this gorgeous candle here as well that just goes so well with the aesthetic in this room. It's matte gold with these faces on it. it smells amazing, but it's so beautiful I can't burn it. And that was also from my manager as a gift, so I can't tell you where that's from. But here we have our cow, Sandrine. We love. This is Sandrine. We love this. It's from West Elm as well. And I love it. I just think it's... You'll, you'll notice I have a lot of animals in the apartment. I love animals. You guys know I always say I'm not 100% certain that I'm going to have kids one day, but I will have lots of animals in my life always. Beside the dresser drawers, we have this chair. It's just covered in this kind of thick, chunky, cotton, cream or white blanket from Target. It's a nice sitting area. Even if you pull your outfit out the night before, you can sit it on here. Underneath it is a pink chair, which I love. It's from Target as well with the gold legs. It just didn't fit anywhere in this apartment, but it's nice to cover it and still be able to make use of it. Then here, also from West Elm, we have this really nice textured all white bedding. We just wanted this room to be like a really relaxing zen space. Just keep it very neutral. And so that's that. We love all the textures. And that's really it. You know, we have the matching side table over here, matching bedside lamp. This is a Kindle for my mom to read and uh, just simple, simple bedding. That's what my mom wanted. So that's what I did for her. Coming out of that bedroom, like I had referenced before, we have the second bathroom here. So this is mainly my mom's bathroom slash when guests come over. It's really nice to have a bathroom that isn't in the second bedroom. If you watched my last apartment tour, both of our bathrooms were attached to the bedrooms. So it was just awkward because anytime we had guests over, they had to go through a bedroom. So it's really nice having this design. It's really nice. The mirror is backlit. We have just, you know, simple marble countertops, matches the kitchen. We've got a toilet, pretty <laughs> fancy. And the bathtub, the bathtub is huge. It's crazy. And we just kept it all grays and whites in here, very neutral again. It's not a huge space. So yeah, massive bathtub right over there. And that's, that's really it. What else is there to say about a bathroom, you know? Directly across from the bathroom, we walk through this living room kitchen space. And we come to master bedroom, which is my bedroom. You know, my mom doesn't get the master bedroom because um, A, I pay all the rent. <laughs> <laughs> True. I pay for the space. Um, but also, she's not gonna be living here forever. Um, so it made more sense for us to use the master bedroom for me um, and that bedroom just as the second bedroom for her. Also, the main bedroom is my filming space and the lighting was best in here for filming. So for all those reasons, this one is my room. So we open it up and immediately when you open it up, you come to this door, which is the bathroom. So let's just head on here first. Do, do, do. Um, a little bit bigger than the second bathroom. Nothing, you know, too extravagant. I will say this is quite luxury. This is the master shower. I'm not a shower person until now. Like this shower is incredible. The tile is very grippy, so I don't feel off balance, like I'm gonna slip, which is often as a blind person, my concern. I, I feel often like I get disoriented in showers. Things get slippery and they fall. But the, because the shower is so big, there's plenty of space where my products don't get wet at all. And I can step out of the water and orient myself. The tile is really grippy, so I don't feel like I'm gonna slip versus like a bathtub to shower where it can be a little bit slippery. So. I I love the shower. The shower head's incredibly powerful. It's a great shower. What can I say? And then we have the same bath mats as we had in the second bathroom, just to keep it all cohesive. We kept the great kind of theme in here as well. There's really nothing too exciting to say. You know, all my products and whatnot are in here. These bins just hold some of the products that I use, you know, more frequently. This is the medicine cabinet, and we've got the backlit mirror that I don't use ever. Then down here, because there isn't much storage for towels, I have these gold fun little bins. This one holds all of my towels. And then on the other side of the toilet, we have the matching one that holds all of my spare extra toilet paper. So I can just grab it and switch it out when the roll is done. Or, you know, anybody who's visiting, if they're in here, the roll finishes, they know where they can grab the next one. So love that. Above there's a window, which which is weird. I often wonder who can see me, but I don't care enough to ever close it. <laughs> and then this is just, again, more storage. I have like 
my body lotions, my perfumes. I have, you know, a nice like spritz for the bathroom in case somebody makes a stink bomb. All of my feminine hygiene products are in here so I can grab them easily when I need them, that kind of thing. And that's really the bathroom. But the weird thing is you get to my walk-in closet from the bathroom. To me, it would have made way more sense if they made this the closet and then they had another door that got you into the bathroom, but whatever, it's fine. Not my building. So you guys would have already seen this closet if you saw this video right here where I have my stylist Dana help me organize the closet when I moved in. But in case you haven't, here's what it looks like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I will be doing a video in the next little while trying on all the outfits in my closet and doing a full closet clean out. So if you want to be here for that video, hit subscribe now. But yeah, this is my walk-in closet. It's overflowing, it's explosive, I'm aware. I have lots of boxes up there with, you know, jeans, swimsuits, shorts, flowy pants, all my handbags, long outfits, sweaters, we've got shoe racks. It just goes on for days. And then we do have this old dresser that Mr. Kate had put in my last bedroom. And I just have some of my yoga blocks on top, his neck pillow, um, some of my jewelry, extra spare makeup brushes, like just, just an array of things. Let's turn the lights off. Exit the bathroom, and here we have the little hallway that leads to my bedroom. This hallway that leads here, we have this amazing piece of art, which is from Rapport? Yeah, Rapport International Rapport Furniture. International Furniture. And it's just this kind of abstract woman's face with heavy makeup. We know I love makeup. It's kind of black, white, gray scale. And it does have glitter dusted over top of it, which I can't see, but I just love knowing that there's glitter on it. Um, and you guys see this all the time in the background of my videos. Down here, we have my pride and joy, Paolo. Paolo is my French bulldog statue uh, wearing his striped pastel onesie. I just love him. He's a French bulldog, but he does uh, come from Mexico. He does speak with a bit of a lisp as well because of the short snout situation. He's very kind though. Love you, Powder. Good boy. Okay. Then here we have my bedside table. I adore these. They're so beautiful. Again, with the clear acrylic vibe, these big clear acrylic chunky handles with the brass gold vibe. It's a white lacquer. It has a nice shallow drawer and then two shelves in this area and then clear acrylic legs with the gold feet on the bottom. I'm obsessed with these and you'll see in a minute that my beauty vanity matches. It is a set. There's a lot more pieces to the set that I might one day collect if I buy a space that requires you know more things but this is all that would fit in my environment right now i got them at anthropology and they are by a designer called tracy boyd i will say tracy boyd furniture is incredibly expensive i feel very guilty every time people on my instagram live streams or my tiktok live streams by the way at molly burke official on tiktok at molly burke official on instagram i go live a lot especially when i'm doing my makeup at my vanity and i feel really bad because people want to know where the vanity's from and I, I feel like i need to be upfront that it's super expensive you know and i'm aware of that these are crazy expensive of pieces it's the biggest investment i've made furniture wise but i looked i hunted i hunted for so so many months and i couldn't find anything it's honestly waiting on these in the vanity were the reason this apartment tour took so long because my space didn't feel complete until i had my vanity and side tables but i couldn't find any that i liked and i finally decided i just need to invest in ones that i love and that are going to be super good quality and last me forever so i bought the tracy boyd ones from anthropology but just know if you want these they are hella hella expensive I'm aware. Okay. Then this is a little hippo. This is by Jelly Cat. This is gonna sound so stupid. Jelly Cat's my favorite stuffed animal brand. Yep, I have a favorite stuffed animal brand as a 26 year old woman. Jelly Cat's my favorite. I just ordered three more stuffed animals from Jelly Cat yesterday. You'll see them in an upcoming video. But I love that he matches the lavender decor in here and he just kind of is friendly. And you know, I knew everybody was gonna really miss the, the teddy bear wall. So I wanted to bring a little element of stuffed teddy in here. And we have him. These clear acrylic and gold lamps are from West Elm once again. And I like that they have like a USB part port to charge things like your phone at night which is super useful and then I have this little lavender succulent from Whole Foods here we move on to my queen sized bed this is a bed head bed frame from Pottery Barn Teen. Again, I searched high and low. I considered getting a cheaper option, but then I was like, you know what? I'd rather invest a little bit more and get one that'll last me for years than get one that's gonna break down. So this is velvet. It is a light silver shade and it is a storage bed. So it has four drawers, two on either side. They do need to rebuild it. It's custom built per order and they messed up 
the build. So the drawers are not aligned properly, so they're remaking it. But currently I have all of my pajamas in this top drawer here, all of my sets in the bottom one, so like legging and sweat sets. And then in the drawer on the other side, I have workout gear and leggings. And then the one up there, I have lingerie. Ooh, fancy. But yeah, I love this bed. The bedding is very simple. It's just this jersey white from Potter Barn Teen. These faux fur fluffy, fluffy, fluffy pillows are from West Elm. Nope, nope, that's a lie. Wayfair, Wayfair. And it was very hard to find pure white faux fur. They were all off-white and I wanted more white, white. This is a gold sequin pillow from Etsy. This circular faux fur pillow in lavender is from Pottery Barn Teen. Then I love this. This is a super chunky knit blanket that I put over my whole bed when I make it. It's white. I just love the texture of it. Although I'll say it's super easy to snag and pull. That's the only problem. I got this at like, I'll link it below. It was some random website I found on Line. Again, it was very hard to find one. This was custom made. They make it per order, but I love it. It comes in like every color and every size imaginable. Then this reversible blanket that I've had for a couple couple years now is from Anthropology. I love it. It's textured. This is like a fluffy texture and this is a knit texture. I just think it's so, so fun. Although my cat Lavender has been loving to nick it with her nails. And then we come down to the end where I have the matching lavender faux fur to the pillow up there. Down here, I have the matching vanity. Again, I'm just utterly obsessed. In here, I just have foundations, concealers, primers, some palettes that don't fit, some lipsticks, that kind of thing. Up here, I have this glitter lava lamp, which is one of my, just like one of those pieces that brings me utter joy. It was 20 bucks from Target. I got it two and a half years ago when I first moved. It's come with me to every apartment. I adore it. And then we just have like Q-tips, because you guys know I need CITES to help fix my makeup. We have a candle from TikTok. So it has like the TikTok logo. We have this like beautiful Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Oh, so fresh perfume. We just, oh, oh, delicious. I just think it looks so aesthetic. Some lippies, that kind of thing. I always have this beautiful marble coaster here. You probably saw some that match outside there. This is from Anthropology. I just think it's so beautiful. I love the texture to it. And uh, I often have a cup of tea or a coffee or a matcha or a LaCroix while I'm doing my makeup. So that's here. Then we have this chair, which is super fun. It's white leather, faux leather, and then clear acrylic, shock, shock, that Mr. Kate got me for my last vanity. And it goes perfectly with this one then I lift up this there's a mirror that is useless although it's not useless because I use it to film my lives so my mom actually shoots into the mirror which is kind of fun um, and then you can just see it's just an array of product setting powders blushes highlights bronzers metallic eyeshadows Mac eyeshadows you know it just goes on and on so yeah that's this space I like that I can close it down and then use it as a desk so I can put my laptop up here, work away. Here we have my phone, Dogs Before Dudes. Shout out to this collection, my guide dog merch collection. 100% of the proceeds are being donated to the Mira Foundation that trains guide dogs for people like me. And this collection is being discontinued as of early August. So get it before it's gone forever. And then I just have my dirty, dirty makeup brushes. And that's it. And then here I keep hair products because once you open this, there is a space to plug in your hot tools so that you can style just built in, which is super cool. This entire section of my room is all windows. All windows here, all windows here because it, like I said, it is a corner unit. So this is the corner of the unit. With all of this beautiful glass, great light in here. I just adore it. I feel very lucky. And then over here, of course, we have matching side table. We have this beautiful candle that Fernanda got me. I did break it recently because I'm blind. I'm very sad about it, which is the only reason I started burning it. Before that, I couldn't burn it. It was too pretty. And then here we have this weird glass head. His name's Theo or Theodore. This glass head is really designed to put like hats on or headphones on at stores. I got it at Rapport, but I loved this glass lavender head and I had this different idea to use it. You know, mainly it's for like boutiques and stores to use, but I was like, what if I buy this lavender head? for my lavender room and I put wire twinkle lights inside. Um, so that's what I did. You probably can't see it very well right now because it is daytime, but at night it looks so freaking cool. These twinkly wire lights that I got at Pottery Barn Team for like 12 bucks and you can put them on a six hour timer and I adore it. And then up here we have my subtle flex of my 1 million subscriber plaque. 
So thank you to all of you guys for helping make that happen. The corner, the very, very corner of the glass walls, we have Gallup's bed. This is by Bowser Bed. I've gotten so many dog <laughs> owners hooked on Bowser beds. They're a little pricey, but they're the only beds that dogs seem to like. They last forever. They last forever. I've had, we had one for 12 years that I had for Gypsy, it was pink. And we have had this one for six years. Super easy to wash. We wash it weekly. It's super textured. It's just beautiful. He loves it. By the way, I just put a throat lozenge in my mouth because I'm talking so much, so I apologize for that but right down right below me is our apartment's dog park it's a dog park with poop bags and a dog washing station and a water bowl and it's amazing to just have a private dog park for all of the buildings dogs of course we have a gym which is insane it's two floors top level is cardio bottom level is weight machines beautiful pool a hot tub games room yoga terrace beautiful rooftop with pizza ovens big screen flat screen tvs on the rooftop like it just this building definitely has some incredible amenities they also come and clean your apartment once a week obviously not for the last few months due to quarantine but in normal times every tuesday they would come they would make our beds you know we would do the laundry and just leave the bedding on top they would fully make the beds clean all the countertops in the kitchen in the bathroom what else did they do uh they'll do your grocery shopping so you just submit your list once a week and where you want them to get it from and they'll go get your groceries and when they come to clean that day they'll bring the groceries with them and literally like stock it in your fridge for you so those are all the like full service amenities that we don't pay any extra for by the way we got lavender cat beds but she way prefers to sleep in these drawers hi gallop he oh he says i'm allergic every time to, we lavender. Talk to lavender every <laughs> he time gets we talk itchy. <laughs> so she's often we find her this is her favorite drawer well, this... gallop's gonna help us find her is she in here nope not in this one where is she gallop he's laughing oh she's gone <laughs> all the attention's uh, back on me maybe maybe had a snack of lavender. Is she in this one? No. Where's the cat? You lose her all the time. Don't worry, you guys. She is here. I'm sorry you can't see her. Another awesome thing about this apartment is they have ceiling fans in every room. We do have air conditioning, but it's just nice to have the ceiling fan option. And if you guys live in apartments, you know that they almost never have ceiling lights in bedrooms. But here they have ceiling light with the fan in every bedroom as well as the living rooms. Big thumbs up. This door leads out from my master bedroom to the balcony that, like I said, stretches all the way across. We're trying to keep the angle so that you cannot really see where I live. That's why we're trying to be like a little sneaky with this, but I'm gonna take you out here. It's gonna be windy, it's gonna be loud. I live in a city, so just bear that in mind. I'm now out on my patio. We have the kind of same pink Ikea table. We often come out here for drinks. We just put these little cute drinks out here. We have a nice succulent, a candle that we like to light when we come sit out for drinks in the evenings. And then these are just from Walmart online. I'm obsessed with them. I originally just got one because my mom didn't understand why I wanted it. Then I kept finding her sneaking out and stealing the chair when I wanted to sit in it. So I had to buy her one as well. So now we have two of them. In the corner here, I just have this Nearly Naturals plant again. This is the second chair, which is really bizarre. It's way lower than the other one and it keeps getting lower. And we don't know what's wrong or why it's happening. So any advice would be great. Super, super weird. Super weird. Then here, I have these bar stools that I got custom made on Etsy from like reclaimed wood and reclaimed metal, which I really love. This is just a bar table that goes with it. We sometimes come and eat meals out here, dinner, that kind of thing. And this bar table was like a hundred bucks from Home Depot, I think. And then out here, we have Miss Lavender's playpen. Gallup often comes out on the balcony with us and we wanted to keep Lavender safe, but allow her to come out here with us too. So she has her playpen that she comes out and sits in with us. And we come back inside. Back to the living room. That is it. That is all. This is my luxury LA apartment building tour. I wish I could show you guys like how beautiful the amenities are, the lobby, it is all just so gorgeous. It's also just incredibly safe. Also say what's crazy is for all of the luxury amenities that this building offers, all of the safety measures that they offer, the price was not much higher than all the other buildings in my neighborhood. It was, it was nuts. Like we didn't think we were gonna be able to afford to live here. And we were like, you know what? We're looking at all the buildings in the neighborhood anyways. Let's just give it a shot. And it was a couple hundred dollars more a month. And we were like, does anybody else in this neighborhood realize that this, I think how fancy the building looks 
and truly how fancy it is, like makes people in this neighborhood feel like they can't afford it so they don't bother looking. But it's honestly not much more expensive than all the buildings in this neighborhood. It was crazy, wasn't it, Mom? Crazy. We were shocked. We were like, oh my God, did we stumble upon a secret hidden gem that nobody realizes that this building is not as expensive as you think it is in comparison to the others? So I think it was like 300 more a month than the other buildings that were much more dated. This building only finished being built in 2016 and started being rented out in 2017. So it's all really new and clean. But on top of that, it means it has the best accessibility standards. We've got wheelchair lifts in the gym to take you from the top gym floor to the bottom gym floor, wheelchair lifts to get you in and out of the pool, wheelchair lifts at the guest parking because there's a stairwell that you have to get up from the guest parking. The elevator, of course, has braille on all the buttons. The elevator also talks, which has been the biggest game changer for me. It tells me like going up, going down, floor five, floor seven, floor four. All the hallways are super bright. Everything is super clean. It's just all of the accessibility standards are amazing. Every unit has braille outside of the door. The keys have a fob instead of a key, which is just for me, it's way easier to swipe it than it is to try to fit a key in a hole. Like it's just amazing. I feel so, so, so lucky, so grateful to be able to live in such a beautiful, safe building with very high security. You have to fob in all the elevators. It's amazing. So I feel really grateful to be able to make this my home. And I hope I get to live here for much longer. And then hopefully next apartment tour will be like a home tour that I own. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Fingers crossed for that. But for now, this is it. I'm gonna walk you to the door, walk you out. Come on, come on. It's time for you to leave. All right, goodbye. Not you. <laughs> Very funny, Gal. Very funny. He's like, that's a great ending, Gal. He's like, can we go to the dog park now? All right, bye, Gal. See you later. All right, you guys. If you want more Molly content, then click up here for my weight gain journey and click up here for my weight loss journey.